Now, art festivals have been popping up across the country in bits and pieces for years now. And uh, I think we have one street art festival, I think, by the Start Foundation in India. Uh, do you see more yes. of these coming up? Uh, what does it take to organize one of these? And what role does uh, a corporate or the government play in supporting them? Uh, so there are honestly a lot of festivals coming across, uh, like start, start is obviously uh, an inspiration for all of us in the public yeah. space, but apart from them, uh, obviously we are trying at Wicked Pros. We did the ladies okay. first street art festival, uh, last year, last year, which was the first women's street art festival right. and got a lot of, uh, uh, traction because, you know, girls were so excited to paint. I mean, uh, right. and that was something unique for them. Uh, apart from that, there is Walk for Bihar, which happened. Uh, Abhishek Kumar Singh organized that. Um, there's the Zero Fest, which happened in Arunachal. Yeah. Uh, and 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 a lot of music fests are also now incorporating the art uh, in general. Like for, exa- for example, Tech Fest, IIT Bombay. Every year for the last about ten years, they've been inviting graffiti artists to come and paint. Right. Um, v- VH1 Earth. Super. Huh? Uh, Echoes of the Earth, which happens in Bangalore every year. So they also yeah. have uh, a lot of street art incorporated into the uh, venue. Yes. So, so the music festivals themselves, like we again painted at VH1 Supersonic this year in Pune. Right. So, so that's happening. That's encouraging all of us. And um, I think in general, the most important thing for these fests is uh, responsible people, honestly, to be able to handle it and take okay. the initiative because I've seen where people take the initiative and are smart enough. They are doing well. All right. Then there are a lot of people who speak about it and dream about it, but can't pull it off because at the end of the day, because I mean, there are a lot of people who dream. I mean, obviously all of us dream street art fest, some music fest should happen, but, but do you know what it takes to get it organized? Like apart from OML, how many organizations have successfully for the last 10 years organized an NH7 or something? Yeah. So, uh, that's, that's the big question. Like doing a one, one version is not enough. Uh, that's not what's going to excite the corporate corporate is going to excite it by, you know, like an OML with NH7, Bacardi is full on with them because they've pulled it off. Asian paints is full on with start because they pulled it off for six years. Right. So it's the consistency. We need those kind of people. And that's something the industry generally struggles with, honestly. Okay. So it's it's those manpower like we need the manpower uh, more more organized people to commit to such kind of causes in the beginning i know it doesn't benefit you that much but i've seen some very inspirational stories of let's say you know the control all delete fest which has been happening for almost the last 10 years right. uh, nikhil Udupa has been running it solo with his team um, and organizing the first metal fest in india oh. uh, and then they had a hip hop fest to it and now they're recently like you know just uh, going a full flea market with that and and they got sponsors on board and crowdfunding it so so the consistency i think the, the right people is all that it takes baki part lene sab aa jate hain everybody wants right. to be a part of it okay uh you know i, I want to come back to street art going mainstream right uh what are the different outlets for it to do so uh, is it just about uh, improving upon existing infrastructure or in future, are we going to see things like, uh, the language of street art on billboards, bus stops, advertisements, and so on and so forth. Street art going mainstream. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. First of all, that, you know, it's a bit of a difficult question because, uh, the allure as you might call it that word right. uh, of street art is in its underground nature. First right. of all, you know, anything that becomes too commercial too out there, then kind of starts to lose its shine after a point of time. So, um, first of all, I mean, for the whole thing to survive or, or to keep its charm, it should not go commercial or full scale mainstream. Secondly, you do want it more accepted. You do want it in more places. You do want more people in the scene as such, um, which will, which is happening, which will happen. And it's already there on bus stops and billboards right. and so on and so forth. Um, it's just that these corporates kind of, they, they, I mean, because the government is doing its thing. I mean, as far as I can say, 
hats off to the swachh bharat mission i mean knowingly or unknowingly they have incentivized these cities to beautify right. themselves right now whether they copy the you know artwork from different places without even taking copyright they are posting everything right. and painting it that's another thing and you know let's say for example in kumbh mela in alabad they just like painted the entire city in hindu religious uh, right. artwork okay now so so the or or in let's say cases of uh, indore smart city they painted it completely just uh, with uh, you know leaves and patterns no sensibility out there like what is the whole meaning of this artwork nothing just want to make it clean okay right. so so the government is doing its part which is okay fine they need more right. curation at that point but uh, at the same time the 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 corporates need to do their bit by being more adventurous okay and um, i mean because if they want to do these gorilla campaigns which they come to us with or they want to you know use street art to its full benefit they need to take that leap of faith right uh and it's a new medium for them i've seen so countless so many of them come to us and then you know just like kind of cancel the campaign at the last moment because probably the cost is too high or they don't understand how this whole thing works and right. and who's going to do all this so, so the trust factor i think we need more successful uh campaigns happen for corporates to invest more in it not just as advertising but also as csr probably if they want to do it in the way right. that let's say asian paints is doing okay uh, empire foundations by the way did a wonderful campaign with um, uh chalrang day and uh, i think cred did one nice little wings campaign with uh, uh, my friends in pune so right. uh, there is little bit happening but we need more leap of faith from the corporates now i, I want to go back to something you just said uh about how you you would prefer the scene stay small so that it uh, maintains its edge now i've seen this sentiment among uh, in various fields right in music if the guy makes it to the if the artist makes it mainstream suddenly he's not cool anymore right or people yeah. hate on him for that on them for that uh, why is this why don't you want why wouldn't you want your uh, favorite artist to get successful and you know be more well known and make more money um no we want people to make more money obviously right. uh, nobody hates you for that sure um but i was giving a more uh, let's say motivational reason a uh, more human emotional reason for things not to become uh, so mainstream you know okay. because mainstream also has its limits at some point so like what's how the thing let's say mainstream? yeah how much is too much kind of a thing right. uh, because let's say i mean case in point let's say let's take banksy i mean if you know yeah uh, what's happening with him the guy says something and does something right okay he says he's against capitalism but he's the most sold out artist ever in the world right so uh like you know like you 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 start to question yourself first of all on the ethics of this whole thing right. uh and then secondly as i said like once it becomes too mainstream also Uh, it loses its charm it, and it's a genuine fact honestly matlab like anyone who knows branding would tell you this that okay. you have to have a niche you need to have exclusivity let's say for example iphone if iphone prices drop to you know uh 10000 rupees like a redmi xiaomi uh, right. note 4 it loses it's going to buy iphone yeah. anymore it loses its value even though the functionality is kind of the same okay <laughs> right but 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 is this the branding that uh, you don't want it uh, to go mainstream if you uh, don't want it to have it do you do you think we're headed our way to hit that wall uh, with the way things are growing in india right now not even close honestly okay as i said not even close because uh, the art scene is miles and miles civilizations behind us japan china and you know the western markets so i would uh, really want it to go mainstream if that it okay. that is what is going to take to get to that level also i'm happy to see it actually go mainstream because uh, we are just way too far behind so that's something we should not be concerned about right now all right